Good day, Dominic Nation, and welcome to the extremely early morning vlog. It's just around quarter to five in the morning in Gander, Ontario, or sorry, wow, in Gander, Newfoundland. I don't even know where the hell I am. And uh, Carol's driving me to the Gander Airport, and I am out of here. I'm flying to Toronto, then to Detroit, then to Houston, then to hell. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah? Oh boy. Are you driving? Sure. Ugh. You got driving all day today. I got flying all day today, so let's go to the airport. I totally saw a Tim Hortons right here by the airport in Gander. That's like saying Gander. So get used to it. It's just the drive through is right here. Wow. So we figured I might not see another Tim Hortons for a week. So I have to grab a, a medium double double and then we're going to the airport. The airport's like just right over there. Hopefully have it it's like 210 here. Hey, how are you doing to this today? I'm doing awesome. Awesome. Uh, I'd like to do a medium double double, please. Sure, is that everything? That would be. Thank you. You're welcome. Look at that little drive through review for you. I wasn't planning this at all. It just happened. Didn't shut the camera off. What should she say? She did, but it's a dollar it's hard to set off the screen. Oh, cool. Yeah, if you want to save money, drink mediums in Newfoundland. 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 Hi. Hello. Thank you. Have a good day. It's all yours. <laughs> ah, two bucks, we'll give it to her. I'm such a big tipper. Hopefully she throws it into the Tim Hortons kids thing. All right, to the airport people. At the Gander Airport, departures, arrivals over there, and bye Carol. Bye Carol. Tim Hortons placement. Bye Carol. <laughs> All right, I can't uh, videotape, drink coffee and wheel my bag at the same time, so I have to shut you off for a second. Well, this is the Gander Airport. We got a restaurant pub, that's departures. There's only one plane departing. <laughs> we got Air Canada, we got WestJet, Para Air Parallel Airlines, Arrivals, Sunwing, and the entrance. And that's it. Very small airport. Well, that lineup went by really quick. I uh, have my Nexus pass, my phone all ready, and can I see your passport? I'm like, what the hell good is my Nexus pass if I can't board a plane in Canada to go to Toronto? Mm. Made it through Gander security, no problems. Friendliest uh, security ever. They love their job. Cool. I'm gonna see if they have a hoodie here. I don't think so. Nope. I just tried to get, uh, to see if I can get my Delta uh, boarding pass while I'm here, but because it's WestJet, they don't give out others, which makes sense, total makes sense. But Delta right now apparently is having some major problems. <laughs> so I was sitting there for a second and the guy's like, you're flying Delta? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh boy, you're in for a good day. And I'm like, oh, my mom just emailed me last night and told me that something bad's happened with Delta. So I might not be getting to uh, Houston today. All right, first time in a long time that I've had to uh, board a plane. Look at that sky, walking on a tarmac. I guess last time was when we went to uh, Dominican Republic. So I guess I gotta go this way. Very cool. Hey, 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 thumbnail. Air 
Canada Jazz. Look at this ramp. I guess they don't do stairs anymore. Very cool. La 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 la. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? All right. How are you doing? Very good. Welcome on board. All right. Good morning. Hey, day. Good morning. Welcome on board. Two hour and 48 minute flight. Seven forty-five in Toronto time. Bye. Very much. Have a good day. Thank you. All right, off to Terminal Three. Forgot my hat. I had to go back. They wouldn't let me on the plane. That the steward or the flight attendant had to sit back on and grab my hat for me. Thanks, WestJet. Hey, check it out. Smokes Poutine uh, Burrito -ry is in the airport. Nice. So apparently I am in Terminal 3. And that's, it looks like a Delta. Let's try it. Nexus Pass came in handy today. Whoa! Made it through security, no problem. The Nexus Pass came in really big handy. Really big handy. And we got through the lineup. Basically bypassed a huge lineup of hundreds of people. So I'm really glad I had the Nexus Pass today. Um, that's how they get to A15. To Detroit. It's around 9.30, we're supposed to be boarding the plane right now in gate A15. Uh, one of the problems I think that Delta was having was if anybody like pre-checked in at home on their computer or on their phone, that's what's all messed up. So they asked anybody who did that to go up and pre-register again. So I'm gonna see if I can get uh, a window seat for my next flight, which is Delta, um, what is it, something to Bush. Uh, where am I going? Detroit. <laughs> to Houston and it's 10D which is like a middle seat A, B, C, D no it's an aisle seat first time in a while that I have flown Delta I think the last time was with Carl the guy from the fishing show I think it's possible I won one of the football trips I did Delta so I think they've tagged my, my bag and uh, I think they're going to take it from me hello alright how are you doing? Good day. How are you? All right, how are you doing? Good, welcome. Thank you. Don't have to worry about my bag being up in the thing. It's small. Just for back. <laughs> so these are small planes, so that's why A, B, C, D. Right, it's only four across. All ready? Please remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened whenever the seatbelt sign is on.
Thanks okay, for thank the safe you. flight. I took my bag when I went on, so the first two bags they brought out, one of them's wine. That one's hers. But the other one's mine. And I gotta find out where my next flight is as soon as possible. First time ever in Detroit airport. And it smells like Wendy's. Gotta check the boards. Houston, hello. 12.30. That's wrong. Hmm. I am here. And I have to get to here. 62. Somewhere around this area. All right, let's go for a walk. It's uh, 11.25. Next flight departs at uh, 12.30. But it starts boarding at 11.55, something like that. Lots of restaurants in this place. Very, very, very big airport. Very long. Like way down there. No, way back there. So I got 20 minutes. And uh, all I can smell is Popeyes. So I think I'm gonna do a little Popeyes munchy munchy in my tummy tummy. Doing today. All right, how are you doing? Oh, wonderful. Oh, excellent. I'm going to do the spicy chicken sandwich, please. Yes, sir. You want just the sandwich? I'll do fries and a drink. All right, that's going to be combo. Nice. Would you like to try any pies today? No, thank you. All right. Want to work? Your total is 846. Finished my Popeyes. It was actually quite good, but she called it a, a po' boy. I didn't think that... I asked for a po' boy. I thought it was gonna be like a regular chicken sandwich on a Kaiser or whatever, but she called it a po' boy. And they're having many, many difficulties. They had a computer down and then tons of people were getting their orders wrong, but they managed and they fixed it all. Good sandwich. Uh, there was so much chicken on it. I had to eat some of the chicken before I could eat the sandwich. So Popeye's good job. I'm just waiting to get on this plane. Gate A63, Delta KLM, Air France, it's supposed to take off at 12.30. And it is 12.10. And not one person looks like they've boarded yet. I don't know what's going on. Trouble at Delta. Trouble at Delta. Thanks, sir. Thank you. It's hot here. Wow. This ramp. Crazy hot. Don't know what time it is. I bet it's about 25 after. 20 to 25 after. Hello, how are you? worth the money. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for a safe flight. I always say that. Whoa, heat wave. My luggage is out there somewhere. Oh, I see it. She better not drop it. It's my drone in there. Thank you, sir. All right, we are out of here. I had to set up my computer so I can book a room. I haven't booked a room, haven't got a car yet. Actually, I'll get a car first. 
I haven't planned any of this stuff. I, I'm just winging it. Houston, I'm back. <laughs> Chapels are open to all and available 24 hours a day. Walk outside and it is stinking hot. This is where you gotta line up for rental cars. Just rented a car from uh, Avis. I went to National because I dealt with them last time. No cars. So flying by the seat of your pants sometimes is a bad idea. Alamo doesn't have any cars, National doesn't have any cars. Avis only had like minivans and stuff, which I need because I gotta go pick up people on Friday when they come in. <sighs> K43, it's right there. It's funny when she said all we have is minivans. I, all I could think was our minivan that we used to have, which was like a 19, a 1984 minivan, like a piece of crap. But uh, yeah, I like to do a little search, make sure nothing's wrong. Check it, check it. All right. And away we go. Oh, it's got the power stuff, right. There was never a power stuff when I was buying these vehicles back in the day. All right, so we're gonna set up camp inside this vehicle. And uh, we're gonna have to find, whoa, the hotel room. Puff Daddy. Okay, got my hotel room on and make sure it was on the east side, a little bit south of Houston, so I don't have a lot of traffic to deal with tomorrow morning when I'm heading down to Galveston. Proceed uh, to the route. Okay, we will. It is in Deer Park area. I think it's a Comfort Inn, sweets thing. Hello. Hey, the Awesome, thank you. See ya. Later. Whoa, big bump. Go this way. All right, Houston, let's do it. Okay, made it to Deer Park. Before I go into the hotel, I like to uh, take a picture of the license plate. Because sometimes they ask, what's your license plate? Some places don't. I don't think this place does, but don't want to have to come out here just for that. I don't, I don't want to say it's hot or anything, but it is hot. Wow. Stand in the sun and your skin starts to bubble. Just like that. Silly Texans. Just booked in and I got the family rape thanks to Earl. Earl, you rock, buddy. Um, so I'm staying at this pretty cool hotel and it looks like a scene out of Scarface. I'm not sure if you've seen that movie. If you haven't, get on it. So the lovely lady who booked me in, oh, the hot. Uh, she told me, oh, air conditioner. She told me there's a place called the brisket house or something. So I'm gonna shoot a video right now for all my Texan, Texan brothers and sisters and get that video rolling. I'll probably put it out tomorrow, maybe. I've got two other videos that I shot. I haven't put that out. Actually, three videos I've shot I haven't put out yet. Oh, the pressure. All set up. Uh, I'm sitting outside of the brisket house. Barbecue. Got my uh, light 2-1, camera 2-1. Haven't plugged in my mic yet. That's uh, an essential part of the situation. Part of the craft, let's call it. So I'm going to do my intro, and then I'm going to go inside, grab some brisket, and come out here and do Hopefully an awesome video, just for you. Oh no, 
I forgot to do the uh, forgot to do the drone shots. We are back at the hotel. She had to change my room. Apparently there was something wrong with the room that she gave me, but I got the same kind of room, just a different room. So it is number bleep bleep bleep. Apparently there's a happy hour between now and seven. So I'm gonna dump my stuff and go get some free beer. Because they're giving it for free. It's not like it's happy hour or two for one. It's, you can drink for free. So let me shut this off for a second. So it is 2.28. I just realized I won't be here, so I don't care. Oh, nice. King bed. Office. Perfect for somebody who's like holding a conference and needs to unwind and get things done. There's a guy over here. Hey! So we got a king size bed, which Carol and I would have loved last night because we had to sleep on a double. I'm not sure if you guys have to sleep on a double with another person. It's not easy. So king size better. We got a couch for lounging. The, the TV's over there. And the couch is over here. TV far away. I guess I'll have to watch it over there. Nice little office area. Lots of plugins. Very nice. I like it. I should have turned lights on for you guys. Okay. They don't work. Bathroom. Uh, nicest bathroom and the last four places I've stayed. Very cool. Not out of date. Much more modern. Oh, we got a little mini bar sink wet area. Weep, weep. We got a Ooh, let's check. Oh, one of the hotels that we stayed in had a whole bunch of stuff in there. Oh, that was uh, in San Francisco, right? So I'm going to wash up a little bit and then uh, unpack some of my stuff, go down for the free beer, and then later on I will do laundry. It is 5.54. Uh, happy hour is only open for another hour and five minutes. I just wanted to let you guys know I am unplugging. I am putting down the vlog camera, and I know some of you guys will be really proud of me. I'm gonna put down the video camera, I'm gonna put down, leave my phone here, leave everything in this room, go downstairs and get rocked. Just kidding. Uh, the only will give you up to four beers, I already asked. How many can I have? Four. Okay, thanks.